Hey everybody, it's Cindy here, fearless leader of Confident Women. You can have it all and the founder of the Confidence Coaching Programs. And I have a 90-day coaching program that is fabulous and changing people's lives. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Just uh, message me and say, hey, hey, can I apply or can we talk about it? And we will, I'll tell you all the details when we'll talk about where you're at in your life and where you want to be and see if there's a match for that. Because I've been helping people with their lives for 30 years. So I know a thing or two. And I have a this wonderful toolkit full of mindsets and skill sets and success habits that can help you change anything personally or professionally. So if you have started off the new year a little wishing you had made changes already or have resolutions or goals that you're already kind of sliding by the wayside by now, that probably needs to, means you need some extra accountability and support, which is a wonderful reason to get a coach. It's one of the greatest forms of cheerleading and wisdom that you can add to your life. And, and it's a great way to say yes to yourself. So with that thought, right? Okay, so we are a few weeks into the new year. And by now, people's, people start to wane often from their goals or resolutions if they, if they set any or set any intentions for the year. And uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I heard a story on persistence. It's the best one I've ever heard. I've heard a lot, many, many over the years and been very inspired. But this one, I didn't see coming from anywhere. But it was about a caterpillar. Yes, not the, the little bug, you know, a caterpillar. Okay, so what am I talking about? I mean, this inspired me so much. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about how it affected me. But anyway, well, I'll tell you. Okay, so I've been working on an automated webinar. It's an online tool that I'm giving some awesome content that I'm gonna give away for free to people to help people get to know me and, and get more people in the group and that kind of thing and, and uh, really help people become more confident in their lives, help women become more confident in their lives, right? And I've been working on this darn thing for a long time. And for the last two weeks, we've had technical glitch after technical glitch after technical glitch, trying to get it set up. And I almost gave up because I, not really, but I just was so getting so frustrated and, you know, just not understanding why this wasn't all coming together. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. And, you know, I had moments of doubt, of doubt whether I was even meant to get it done or even meant to utilize such a thing. And yet I'd worked so hard on it for so long. It was just, <laughs> my gosh. So then one evening, I was curled up on the couch with my beloved and we were just relaxing together. And we put on that one of those Planet Earth shows. I don't know if you've seen them, but they take you all over the world and they show, you know, animals or bugs or different living things in their actual environments and teach us about them. And it can be extremely interesting and there's beautiful photography usually and anyway. But along came this story, I was so tired that night, but along came the story about the Arctic Circle, different animals and creatures that live in the Arctic Circle. And they uh, featured for a little while this little caterpillar. Now I don't remember the name of the caterpillar, but this is a little fuzzy looking caterpillar that in this in spring in the Arctic Circle comes out from under a rock and eats and eats and eats and eats for three months. It eats all it can for three months and it showed it nibbling on these green leaves and it just stuffs itself for three months and then it goes wiggling down under a rock, curls all up, and then for nine months, it's in this, it's like hibernating and surrounded by snow and ice and its little body freezes under that rock up in the Arctic Circle for nine solid months. And then spring comes again, things melt, it comes out, and then it eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats, and eats for three solid months, same thing. And then it crawls back under a rock, snow, ice, freezing cold, 
for nine months and it's under there all hunkered down and they go it goes into like hibernation for three-fourths of the year okay so th then they said they do this for 14 years 14 years this little this little caterpillar does this for 14 years <sighs> And then on year 14, it comes out for the spring, for the 14th time. And it, it uh, um, you know, it, it goes into its little cocoon thing. What do you call that thing? It wraps itself up. And then it, in that spring, it becomes a moth. Like it goes through that. It, the chrysalis, right? I'm not very good at these things. But anyway, it breaks out and it's a moth. It took 14 years. <laughs> 14 years. Okay, and then it's this moth. And then it quickly finds a mate in that spring and they reproduce. So there's more caterpillars. And then it flies away. After 14. 14 years and I'm thinking okay I've never heard such an amazing story of persistence ever it's this tiny little thing and it goes through the worst of the worst of the worst of winter you can imagine every single year for nine months curled up and survives being frozen thaws out comes out eats 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 constantly for three months so it can survive the nine months and then after 14 years of doing that then it's ready to become a moth and it does and it survives all that and I thought oh my lord if that little caterpillar can pro can survive that and go through all that for 14 years to become a moth, surely I can get my webinar done. And surely you can accomplish anything that's new to you. See, this is all new to me, this online stuff. It's all new to me. I'm learning all this technical stuff in the last six months. And it's all new to me, like all new to me. And this one's really a sophisticated thing. And for those of you that think it's easy or do this and it's easy for you, I admire you deeply. It's just not how I'm wired. So anyway, I thought, okay, I can handle this. I can go back again and I can try again and I can try the link again and I can test the URL again and I can make corrections with, with the slides again and I can do all that. I can do all that because this little caterpillar can survive 14 winters in the Arctic Circle hiding under a rock and still end up being a beautiful moth and having a partner and reproducing and flying wherever it flies to live after that. So I hope the little caterpillar can inspire you. Whatever it is you think you can't do or you're so tired of trying, I guess if we, we need to give it at least the equivalent of 14 seasons before we give up if the little caterpillar can do it. But anyway, if you want more support than the inspiring story of the caterpillar, in creating your goals and you know getting healthier getting happier getting wealthier reaching success leaving difficult relationships changing your communication skills um, you know whatever it is you want earning more money saving more money uh, just getting happier being at peace knowing what you want figuring out what now in your life if you're lost and you're looking for your purpose whatever it is making friends dating again saving your marriage i don't whatever it is i'm here for you and i can help you do it all right so let me know and i'll talk to you again soon bye bye